Now, the National Road Safety Authority is continuing its random inspection vehicles that transport school children to and from schools. The aim of the exercise is to minimize the risks of children getting involved in accident road crashes, injuries and deaths when they board school vehicles or use the roads as pedestrians. The NRSA since the beginning of the exercise in July has clamped down on a number of schools, uh, school buses across the capital head of regulations, inspection and compliance of the NRSA Kwame Kodia Etiahene says the inspection has become necessary because the authority has observed that some of the vehicles providing transport services Services for school children across the school uh, across the country appear to be rickety and substandard seats, worn out tires, while some did not have seat belts as well as retro reflective uh, tapes. He joins us live to tell us more uh, on this. Mr. Chairman, you're welcome. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Afia. Yeah. I hope you're doing well. So, um, between which period was this, um, you know, checks done? And what can you tell us? What are the details? What you can add, actually? Okay, so in January, we issued an alert to all schools through the National Schools Inspectorate uh, Authority under the Ministry of Education. And it was because we had observed uh, emerging risk with, with vehicles and uh, shuttle services and vehicles being used for transporting kids. Uh, what we have done is to go back uh, to some of these schools, selected schools in random, randomly selected across the country uh, to try to uh, inspect the quality of the buses mm. uh, the drivers assigned for these services, and particularly to be sure that um, these buses have assigned adults. You know, when the kids are getting on board and alighting from these buses, especially in urbanized environments, um, they are exposed to so much risk. So more to ensure that they, they, are, they are safe on their way uh, to school and back uh, home. In fact, in, in Cape Coast, and uh, particularly in Cape Coast, there, there's been a number of schools where we've had to ground bus services somewhere in a half or in recent weeks. We've had the unpleasant duty to also ground a service for a school in most other places we have been to, uh, we, uh, we observe where there are gaps. We allow for them to be remedied if we do not consider them substantial enough. We intend to step up this exercise, especially uh, with schools coming to a close in about a week or two, so that in areas where there are obvious gaps, would allow for sufficient time for them to remedy the gaps before school reopens somewhere in January. So, um, you know, these checks that were conducted, is this something that's be cons going to be consistent? Or uh, you put in measures to give you that feedback every time you actually want to check on these? Yes, so from January, in fact, uh, from January soon to become the law. I mean, all of these schools that run shuttle services must register with the authority. And registration will come with terms and conditions. And they will be required to keep their vehicles in, 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 in safer conditions throughout the academic year. Uh, the drivers will require to be trained. And these um, systems would be monitored either regularly or at, as random as we have tried to do in the last few weeks. So, um, and we want to do this with the National Schools Inspectorate um, authority under the Ministry of Education. You know, the law that sets up the authority and joins us to work collaboratively with other public sector institutions. And to the extent that these services um, are risk prone, we would not want to sit back and allow calamity to strike before um, we, we tend to act in one form or the other. So, in the long term, should I even say in the short term, um, all of these institutions, they will be enjoined to register with the authority and through our regional offices across the country, we will need to fasten out a certain um, level of interface, interrelationship that will ensure that for most time of the academic year, whilst the kids um, get as much education from their teachers and school administration, the, the few hours that they join these buses 
to and from school, we, we need to take uh, responsibility to ensure that these buses are safe.